Hi, this is Shannon with Floribella Collection. Today I'll be showing you how to install actions into Photoshop Elements version 6 through 9 uh, using the photo effects palette method. We have another video for the action player method and that's uh, for 7 and above. But for today, we'll be learning the photo effects method which is preferred by many people. So here uh, we have the pop-up and also the email download link that you'll receive after payment. It says click here to download. We'll be downloading Florabella Lux 2 Actions for PSE. That's the newest set. So you click. And you have the option to open or save. Choose save. And you'll be able to see the window. You can also navigate up here to where you want to save it to. I'm going to click save. And they're downloaded. It's that quick. Here, my downloads window will pop up. I'm going to right click and choose open containing folder. And then I'm going to unzip the file. Now, in most cases on uh, uh, a Mac, it's real easy. And PC, you usually just right-click and choose Extract All. But I have 7-Zip uh, software, so I'm going to say Open With 7-Zip. And that, then choose Extract. Okay, and close that. And now I have my full, I still have my zip folder, but now I have my opened folder uh, for the actions. I'm going to open that up. And we have terms of use, tips and notes, and then we have two folders with the actions, the photo effects method or the action player. We're going to open the photo effects method. And here we have the installation instructions. And uh, there are installation instructions for XP, Vista, Windows, Mac. I'm working today on Vista on a PC. And basically... Here are my actions and my thumbnails. So I'm going to change this to list so I can highlight them all. What I'm going to do is drag, highlight, right click, copy. I'm going to copy all of those files, just the ATN and PNG files from that particular folder. And the directions say to navigate to my destination folder. So the directions say start computer, go to my C drive, and in my C drive I'm going to look for program data. Now here's program data, but let's say you don't see program data. That means that you have it hidden, and that's the case for many. You would go down to start, and in start, in the little search box, you would type folder options, and a little window pops up. You click on the view tab, and go down to where it says hidden files and folders. And you should click Show Hidden Files and Folders, Apply, and OK. And after that, when you go, you will then be able to see the program data file. Be really careful. Sometimes people choose program files. It is not program files. It's program data. Open that up. And inside, you will find an Adobe file. Inside Adobe, Photoshop Elements. Then the version. I'm working on 7 right now, but you would choose your version number. And then photo creations. And finally, we have photo effects. And this is the file that you're going to want to right click and paste all of those files that you had copied earlier. OK, so now you have all of your actions and your thumbnails in this file. You can go ahead and reduce that. OK, close that up. Now at this point, we're going to open our Photoshop Elements program. If you already had it open, you're going to need to close it and restart it. Okay, go up here to Edit. And over here on the right, you will see all of your effects, and you'll see some actions down here at the bottom. If you don't see them there, on your, up here on the fourth one at all, click on the third one to Photo Effects. And over here in the drop down, show all. And usually they'll show up there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring an image in. Let's see. Uh, in this case, I'm going to bring in this image. I'm going to drag it down to my tab. You can also use File Open and navigate to your image. And I'm going to choose uh, one of my favorite actions called Swoon from Florabella Lux 2, and that action will load multiple layers. 
that you can adjust and tweak. So here we have, I'm going to click Alt to show you the original background image down here. I'm going to click the eyeball on the background image. That's before and after. You can uh, increase the opacity or decrease or click off layers altogether. If I want the vignette off, I just click the eyeball to turn it off. I can adjust the opacity of that layer. Um, I think that looks good. I'm going to, let's see, maybe increase the bright contrast just a bit. I like that. It's a little more dramatic. Now, many people prefer to adjust the opacity of an action as a whole. And with Photoshop Elements, that wasn't possible uh, until recently. I developed this action called Florabella Group. Where is it here? It's in hot pink. So all you have to do in that case is click on that. It's going to group all of your layers, and so your top layer will be the action, and the bottom layer will be the background. See that? And now you can just reduce the opacity all the way down to zero, ease it up until you like the results. Okay, and there's a swoon at 90%. Click it off before. There it is at 90 I like it at 100 though, because I like my images a little more dramatic. So, um... There you have it. That's how you install Photoshop Elements Actions into the Photo Effects player and use the Florabella Group Action after running an action. Okay, you can find Florabella Actions and Textures at FlorabellaCollection.com. Thanks.